Well, coming up now at Palazzo Reale Caserta, the Royal Palace in Caserta, it's semi-final number two of the recurve men's individual, and it's Yuta Ishii against Erdim Sidipov. Here come the coaches, led out by the official, the line judge, for this match. The athlete from the Russian Federation on target two will lead out the athletes here. The 22-year-old world number 159, Erdim Sidipov from the Russian Federation representing the Burjat State Academy of Agriculture of Ulan Ud. He shot a 6.66 to be ranked second in the ranking round and came through Qi Zhang Shuo of China, 6-0 in the quarterfinals. And there he is, shooting an average arrow of 9.2. It's Erdim Sidipov. His opponent is the 20-year-old, world number 299, Yuta Ishii of Japan. He shot a 6.58 in the ranking round to be ranked sixth and came through Ali Khan Mustafin of Kazakhstan, 6.2 in the quarterfinals. His average arrow is a 9.14. The winner will go on to shoot for gold against the world number two, Lee Wu Suk of Korea. The loser, well, I'll have a quick turnaround and they'll be straight out for the bronze medal match against Wei Chun Heng of Chinese Taipei. <laughs> so it's City Pop of the Russian Federation. Target number two shooting first. Good sighter into the nine ring. Nine. So a low nine and a right nine as our first two arrows. What corrections can these two men semi-finalists make on their second? Silipov did make the vertical adjustment, just high a bit too much. Nine. Matched in terms of score by Ishii. Nine. So a 27 from Sidipov. Oh, Chance was there, but he gets a 26. The man from Japan and the points go to Erdim Sidipov in the first set. 2-0, the athlete from the Russian Federation leads. Well, there is confirmation if Yuta Ishii had shot a 10 in his final arrow. He would have taken the points, a nine, and they would have shared them, but he shot an eight, and that gave Sidipov the points in the first set. Yuta Ishii of Japan will shoot first in the second set. The 20-year-old needs to fight back quickly. Close one. 
Marked as a 10. That one. Touching the X ring is a definite 10 on the scoreboard. Eight, That's open the door there. The ten puts this one out of reach and puts Yuta Ishii on level points. And he has hit a ten. And I say that with some confidence, but have to wait for the target judge to go and just check out that first arrow from Yuta Ishii. Eight. Uh, even if it's marked down to a nine. The points go to Yuta Ishii. He's leveled things up. He needed to do that quickly, and he's done so. It's two apiece in the second semi-final in the men's individual. There is confirmation, the fight back from Yuta Ishii. He's two set points up now in this match and level with Erdim Sidipov. Off the mark, both athletes, we go into the third. And as you can see, it will be the athlete from the Russian Federation who will shoot first in the third set. All tied up, all to play for. Who's going to make it through to the gold medal match? Who is going to have to pick themselves up after a loss and come straight back out onto the range in Caserta to shoot for bronze? Erdim Sidipov gets us underway. Nine, no then. It's on the line. Nine, maybe ten, and There's a nine asterisk. I think that may well get marked up that second one from Yuta Ishii. Nine, nine. So a 29 set here. According to the scoreboard, Ishii can go only, only get to 28. Nine, nine. He shot a nine there, though. So he's on 27, but the second arrow from Yuta Ishii is subject to a measure. So it remained a nine for Yuta Ishii. Hasn't been updated on our scoreboard, but it was a 27 for the Japanese archer. And Erdim Sidipov goes 4-2 up in the second recurve men's individual semi-final here at Napoli 2019.
and it's back to Yuta Ishii to shoot first. Start of the fourth set of five, potentially. Nine, nine. nine from Ishii. The thing here is, Sidipov can take it here if he wins this set outright. Eight, and eight, okay. though, opens the door right up. He made an adjustment to his bow and his sight just before taking that shot, which seemed a strange moment to do it. Ten. To the ten ring and the pressure right on the Russian Federation athlete here. Nine, Moving closer to the centre, but still just a nine. Chances here to put this one out of reach and draw level on points. Ten, ten does it. Great stuff here in this semi-final. Nine. A better nine, nine. Adjusted too much, though, and a 26 from Erdim Sidipov. It's... A great fight back twice now from Yuta Ishii, the 20-year-old from Japan. He's in a real battle with Erdim Sidipov. They're all square at four apiece after four sets. So there we have it, Yuta Ishii, like a boxer on the ropes twice, has fought his way out of a corner to level the scores going into the fifth and final set. Will there be an outright winner in this set? Three arrows apiece for the highest score. If they draw level, we'll have a shoot off. Over to Erdim Sidipov, the 22 year old Russian Federation archer. Nine, nine. Eight, Otto. Door opened by Yuta Ishii, trailing by a point in this crucial fifth set. Into the ten ring, capitalised on by Erdim Sidipov. Really could do with a ten here, Ishii. Gets it. Now, if Sidipov puts this into the ten ring, he's going through to shoot for the gold medal against Lee Wu Shuk of Korea. Quick release, it's in the nine. That means that Yuta Ishii needs a 10 to force the shoot off, anything less. And the Russian is through. Oh, it's just outside. It's a 27 for Yuta Ishii. The set points go to Erdim Sudipov, of course, subject to confirmation from the target judge, but there was nothing really that looked like it required a measure there. The target judge will go down and have a look. Well, we've had confirmation here, and there it is on your screens. Erdem Stilipov of the Russian Federation has gone through. He won it in a real topsy-turvy battle with Yuta Ishii. Yuta Ishii will go for the bronze medal very shortly against Wei Chun Heng of Chinese Taipei. Brilliant match. And that's the semi-finals done.
Next up, it's time for the medals here in Caserta as we get confirmation that Ed M. Sidipov goes through 6-4 in semi-final number two for the recurve men's individual.